What's up, everybody? This is Colin from Holistic Heritage Homestead. I hope you're all well. We are huge advocates of gardening. Gardening has so many benefits. One of the many benefits is it has psychological benefits. It's really great. For those of you who are gardeners, you will understand exactly what I'm about to talk about. So when you garden, you are going to have lots of surprises and you're gonna have lots of rewards. And it's so amazing to go to your gardening area and just see what God has provided, to see what has popped up. And that's cool. When it comes to germination, you plant seeds, you water them, you wait patiently, and then one morning or one night, you go look at your seeds whenever, boom, they've germinated. That is exciting. That is exciting. And also, when you go to your gardening area and you see production, you see things growing, you see fruit, produce, greens, food growing. It is so amazing. And also flowers and non-edible plants. Sure, for us, we focus on food. That's a priority for us here. Um, but it's really, really amazing, folks. And it's got to be incredible for your dopamine. And it's got to be incredible for your happy chemicals. Because your body is recognizing that you put in work and your mind, rather, is recognizing that you put in work and you're getting rewards. That something is coming out of your work. Something is being produced. And that is really an amazing feeling. Without getting into all the other benefits of gardening, to feel good, I highly recommend it. I am not a doctor. I am not a psychologist. I don't have those types of degrees. However, I read a lot. I garden a lot. I do a lot of different types of research, watching reading, listening, and I can tell you, gardening is absolutely beneficial for your psychological health. Get up, get out there, get going, get growing if you're not already. And for you gardeners, just let me know in the comments below, what does that feel like? Do you really enjoy walking out to your garden and seeing, for example, here's a spaghetti squash that's doing really well. It's about eight and a half to nine inches long. See that little cucumber hiding back there if you can. Do you enjoy going out to your gardening area or if it's indoors, going to your gardening area, whatever it is, and just seeing those surprises? It's amazing. It's like, for those of you who celebrate Christmas, it's like Christmas every day that something pops up. So you're just getting constant rewards or throughout the harvest season, rather, the growing seasons, you can get things all the time just showing up. And it's so exciting. It's so exciting. After a heavy rain, watching your plants just explode in growth, watching flowers turn into fruit, turn into food, watching leaves just suddenly explode in growth and they're almost ready to harvest, they're ready to harvest. So exciting, so good for your happy chemicals, so good for your dopamine, folks, truly. So let's have a little fun. Let's see if you folks can help me spot out how many spaghetti squash we have growing in this area and comment in the comments below how many you see of spaghetti squash. I'm not gonna count, so this is a contest, all right? And you win an Air 5, a heart and a thumbs up, if you get the correct answer. And if you don't, you still get an Air 5, a heart and a thumbs up anyways, because we appreciate you participating. All right, let's go. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Bit of a distraction. Huckleberry growing well. How you doing? Boom. All right. We'll finish with the huckleberry. This is beautiful. Coming out here and watching these changed in color. Watching those berries turn from flowers into fruit. And then watching them ripen and change color. It's a beautiful thing. Gardening is amazing. It's great for your psychological health, folks, for your mental health. I encourage you very, very much to get into gardening. You get to grow delicious and nutritious food for your family as well and lots of other benefits. I'll try not to get into those now. Comment below. Take care, everybody.